Thanks for joining me for week two of uh, Sean's Little Life Lessons. Uh, Kareem, my friend, has asked me to uh, share some of the things I've learned uh, from being a musician uh, in town and also working here at McNally Smith. And uh, perhaps this will be helpful for folks who are pursuing a career in music or folks who are pursuing uh, education in music. And so I've been thinking about some of the good things that I've learned. And uh, the one I want to talk about uh, today, at first, doesn't have a lot to do with music. Um, it's called That's How You'll Be Judged. And it uh, came actually recently, about uh, a year and a half ago. I, I also run a trivia company. And um, I was meeting with our big first vendor. We had done a, a couple jobs for different companies. And then I was meeting with the COO of Green Mill, this gentleman who I have a lot of respect for named Paul DeZubnar. And we had had a couple meetings and we definitely had, uh, came from different places. This big hip hop musician guy, but I got this trivia company that I think is cool. And this guy's a real uh, business dude. He's been running Green Mill for a long time. He's got a lot of insights about what he wants. But he saw that I was bringing something valuable. We started talking, and I knew that it was going to be a business-oriented conversation. Um, so we're feeling out about pricing, about entertainment, about how long it's going to last, how I'm going to get good staffing. And uh, I talk a lot about what I want out of a good trivia night. And I sort of said, um, now, you know, what, what we'll be looking for is to try to find hosts who are really energetic, really positive, who can really uh, draw a crowd. And um, I go, I'm, I'm wondering... How, how, how we'll be judged. And he said, sales, that's how you'll be judged. And he just said it simply. It's, it's a really uh, intimidating statement, but it's not threatening and it's not, uh, he wasn't poking his chest out and trying to scare me. He was trying to be clear about what their metrics were, which is the fact that if they had this host who was a really nice guy and all the bartenders loved him, but folks didn't come out, they couldn't justify the expense. And it's really important uh, to know as you try to pursue something as gray as success in the music business, it's important to know how you'll be judged, particularly by your superiors, but also important to know for yourself. So a lot of times when I sit with students and I go, well, where do you want to be? And you know, what can we set for the summer? And they'll go, I just want to be much more known in the Twin Cities. And, and that's, a, that's a not a measurable goal. And it's, it's a really uh, difficult one to define. So somebody say, I want that uh, by the end of the summer. It's quite, I mean, if you, uh, you know, lit your car on fire and started dancing, you would be more well known by the end of the summer. The question is, what, what metrics do you actually want to be judged on? So is it the fact that you'd like to see that when you put out a new song, it gets written up by a couple of the local blogs? Would you like to see that uh, you have an easier time getting shows sponsored? Or would you like to see that when you put out your mixtape, upwards of 150 people download it and share your email with you, their email with you in exchange. So it's important to figure out how you'll be judged because a lot of times that's not agreed upon first and that can be really stressful. The other thing is that if you aren't willing to look at metrics and you aren't willing to look at measuring successes, there's a lot of people who will rule out working with you because it's just not how most of the world goes. Another individual who works here, Toki, talked about meeting with somebody about doing a, a hip hop event and the guy real clearly made it and within the first 20 minutes of the conversation, he goes, I'm here today about making money. The, the, the topic at hand is hip hop and throwing this good night, but the, the ultimate goal for me and for the folks I work for is making money. It's important to feel that out so you just know. And then you can also say, is that not the goal? Because you, you, every once in a while you meet somebody who goes, it's about putting on a good event, that's what I'm in charge of. If we get 10 people there who love it, good. It doesn't happen that often. Usually people want to make some bread on it. Even in the nonprofit world, there's folks saying, I got bosses who want to see 150 people happy after you run a trivia night. We're paying you partially for that and not just for the good questions. So you just want to agree upon that first because otherwise there's no way to evaluate it after you're done.